Yo, yo, yo. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another one of O-Line Security's Hack the Box series. We are going to be jumping into the Devil Box. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. But the box we're going to be doing is a retired box known as Devil. And we're just going to jump right into it. Okay, I've already done this box earlier today. I also have a write-up on Medium. I'll post it in the descriptions here. Please check it out if, if you're a reader. It, it's pretty short and quick to the point or straight to the point. So what I'm going to do here is just dive right into it. I've already done a, all of the scans and my shells are in place. So it's not going to be a drawn out walkthrough. So the first thing I did was run my Nmap scans, of course. And the things, there were some interesting findings here. Well, there were two from the Nmap scans. We had port 21 and port 80 open. All right, port 80 had an IIS server. It's hosting some type of web page. And then FTP was open and it appears that the anonymous user that were able to log in as anonymous, All right? And these things look like they're inside of that directory. All right, so before we even jump over there, cause that just might be it, right? It, it looks like the golden nugget right now that we should get that we should just dive right into. Let's just see what's on this web page for a second. All right, check out the web page. Doesn't look too alarming just yet. Look at the source code. Nothing super alarming, but this welcome.png file right here is the same thing that's hosted in this FTP server. Right now we're starting to wonder, are the resources here accessible here? So let's see. Let's go to welcome.png. Okay, we get that page. All right, let's go to this one. Okay, we went to the welcome.png just matched up with what was here. So let's try the other one. And it brings us back to the home page. Okay, well now the question is, can we load something up into here like a reverse shell and activate it from the URL just like we did with the rest of these pages? Well, we can. That's exactly what I did. Okay, so what I did was I created a payload with MSF Venom. At first, I created an x64 payload. That didn't work. So then I had switched it up to an x86 payload. Uh, shell reverse TCP L host equals 10.10.14.13. L port equals 4. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's what I did for the first one. This file format will be ASPX. And I'll put it as this ASPX I think that's what I used yeah this ASPX so that was my shell that was my payload right here so once I had that the next thing was to log into this FTP server as anonymous okay after logging in as anonymous, there is no password for that account, which is why we should disable it. We are on the FTP server, and you can see those files that we saw from Nmap. You can also see a bunch of other things that I put in here, like the reverse shell that we're going to use to pop our first shell. To put this up here, what I did was just to be safe, I went into binary mode just to upload this as as it was and then I would just do disk.aspx put to upload files on FTP servers get to download files from an FTP server alright so we're gonna put this up there mine is already there once that is there I'm going to open up a shell or open up a port on that port that we told MSF Venom to listen to now we can activate that 
by browsing to the URL right we uploaded it into the FTP server we realized that everything in here was accessible from the front end so we uploaded our own our own payload to activate it from the front end as well all right so now we can check our privileges and you'll notice that we can impersonate and create tokens all right so this means that the user account that we're on is it is a service account right it's the service account for the web server service accounts and local admin accounts they have the ability sometimes to create and impersonate other tokens right such as the system level system account token to create other processes so that's what we're going to do we're going to impersonate uh, a token to launch a process with system level privileges right and that process is going to be our reverse shell all right so we need two things we need a re another reverse shell that's going to be in the form of an executable okay because we're going to launch it from here not from the web page and then we need a this juicy potato exploit okay to do the token impersonation and creation so let's go and download this first I already have it downloaded but this is where I found the x86 juicy potato exploit okay please remind me to put this in the description I'm gonna make a note of that right now actually so I don't forget and let's go so this is where we got it from so next thing to do is to create the the shell so what I did to create the shell was just another MSF venom payload MSF venom Windows remember this is already an x86 box L host equals 10.10.14.13 L port I use 443 for this the format is going to be an executable and I'm going to save this as shell.exe Okay, so we should have two things now. We should have a shell.exe and we should have this juicy potato exploit. Now we just FTP back into that box as anonymous. Remember, no password. Set the FTP session in binary and put those files up there. Put the shell.exe up here and put the juicy potato exploit up here. I renamed mine to Juicy86 just because it's just shorter to type than all of this. Now once that's up there, let's go ahead and open up another port <coughs> to listen on the port you told Meterpreter to listen on just now. Go back in this shell that we have we need to go to that FTP directory which is it's under inet so we're gonna CD into inet pub okay that's this directory here and then we're going to CD into WW root and you can see I already have my shell and the juicy exploit in here you should have it as well here too you should have everything that i have if you're naming it the way i'm naming mine now all you have to do is run this juicy exploit right and to do this we're gonna need this command here all right this is something i had in my notes from a try hack me lab that i did i think it was on try hack me right during their oscp path they had some uh a box that was vulnerable to this same or yeah vulnerable to the same exploit so kudos to that for having me prepared so now we're gonna run this here okay and what this is gonna do is use the juicy 
exploit to start a process listening on or connecting to 443 this is the payload it's going to run here's the token and now we have system level access to this box okay we can go back and get all the flags once again I'm not going to show you the flags all right dir administrator it's going to be on this desktop Okay, you can see the root flag and then right that's the root flag and then under Babis or Babis sorry Babis if I'm getting your name wrong you will see the user flag all right so that's how this box was <clears throat> how this box was popped to get the system level access and to capture the rest of the flags this was a pretty straightforward box I think this is a really really good box for beginners to start out with get uh, get some low-hanging fruits like that FTP anonymous login give this a give this a like if you if you like the video if you learn something new leave leave a comment if there's a box that you actually want to see me do or something you struggled with and you want to see how I get through it if I can get through it drop that off in the comments if you want the medium the medium blog it will be in the in the description as well other than that, hold on to your loved ones. Give them a kiss. Let them know that you love them. Life is short. Be happy. Enjoy it. And I will see you all next time. Have a good one. Peace.